There's some area in your life where you know that there's a correction which is going to come up. You know which area it is, or maybe you don't. But there's a gut feeling inside which tells you that there's a heavy correction required in certain area of your life, in two areas, or at least in one. There are certain things in your life which has gone way out of track. <laughs> You need to bring these areas on track. But you are confused. You know what to do, but uh, you are not sure if you should really take the steps in this particular direction. Or maybe depending on your chart, you may even not know uh, which uh, area should you uh, take care of or how should you take care of that area. Okay. So these are some questions which is going on in your head, in my head, in everybody's head, or at least in my head. But we don't seem to find the right answers, okay? Now, what am I talking about? If you uh, look at the transits, I see till 21st October, Mars is going to transit the sign of Virgo, right? Now, Mars transit into Virgo. This is a very interesting transit. Why? Because both have, both can have similar energies sometimes. What do I mean by similar energies? See, if you go to the Kalpurush Kundli, we have the sixth house, right? Which is the sign of Virgo, sixth sign actually. And if you go to the houses, sixth house, who is the Karaka for the sixth house? It's actually Mars. Okay? Mars and Saturn, they are both Karakas for the 6th house. Now, Saturn shows uh, delays, disappointments, setbacks, but Mars shows enemies, fighting with enemies, uh, fighting quarrels. Right. So, therefore, Virgo uh, has very strong traits. As we know, the house and uh, the signs have very similar traits, right? Therefore, Venus also gets debilitated in the sign of Virgo. Okay, so when the Karaka of the 6th house is transiting in the 6th sign of the Kalpurush Kundli, then similar traits can come up in your uh, life. So, which areas will these traits related to? Which areas will this be, right? So you need to check which houses does Mars rules in your chart. Mars rules Aries and he rules Scorpio. But Aries is the most recorded sign. So Mars is primarily lording Aries. But he also rules Scorpio. <laughs> so the thing is, you check from your ascendant wherever uh, Aries and Scorpio is falling in your chart. So which houses do they fall? So... Regarding those houses, there is a severe need for correction, severe need, which means there are things which you feel it's like flowing off like a river. <laughs> so if uh, suppose, for example, Mars is your Lagna Lord, then it could mean that your health is flowing out. It's like just going, right? If Mars is your 10th floor, it could mean your career is just going, right? So, this means that regarding the houses which Mars rules in your chart, and depending on your horoscope and your current dashas, these two houses that Mars rules in your chart, um, from the uh, past months, like past three months, four months, you would have felt that Things have gone low to such an extent which you never imagined. Now, this could be going low externally or internally, right? But then the thing is, uh, which is the lowest point, right? So, Mars is currently in Virgo. Therefore, you could see last 10 days or before 10 days. Okay, so today is 17. So you could have seen this somewhere first week of September. So from first week of September, you must have got a feeling that 
I think I have reached the lowest point in certain in part in a particular area of my life, and that's it. I have hit the rock bottom. I can't go low lower than this. I could, but the thing is, if I go, it will have severe consequences. So therefore, regarding the houses that Mars rules in your chart, there could have been a tip point, negative tip point actually. <laughs> bottom you would have hit the rock bottom on the first week of september as i said it could be internal or external low confidence or maybe overconfidence right so either ways you know what that is and please let me know in the comments which ascendant are you and uh, which houses do you think mars uh is indicating uh by this transit i mean of course you know that depending on your ascendant mars rules two houses but i want to know practically what is happening in your life okay so that we can all study these transits so it's happening in my life it must have happened in your life too so now what happens is when mars is now transiting virgo then now is the time that we really understand that we have uh, we have given uh, up something and we have given in something okay what have we given up well something which we should have not given up and we have given in to something that which we should have not okay so when mars transits virgo you feel uh, it's like a emergency time in your life but that emergency uh, must motivate you to do something good out of your life okay so therefore if if you feel that you have hit the rock bottom then it's not yet late now is the time that you can improve yourself and you can come out of that apparent rock bottom that you had hit somewhere end of august or beginning of september therefore you need to understand that if you want to go if you want to leave the rock bottom that is only possible by making un uh, some unwilling changes in your life right some painful changes as they say no pain no gain right so you have to see the houses which mars rules in your chart make a reality check on what is going on regarding those houses take an excel sheet write it down all the damn things okay so if mars is your 10th uh, lord for example write the things down that you know is going good or bad in your career keep observing the pattern from last 4 months 5 months 6 months or maybe last one year did you see some pattern that in particular area of your uh, of your career you are just going down 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 and you are you have already hit the rock bottom so therefore now within the excel sheet you try to write what are the things that you can do from your end at this particular level with whatever resources that you have virgo is about resources what can you do to improve your situation okay so for example uh, in your career if you are Uh, lacking certain skill because of which your career is going down you are not getting promotion or you are not able to switch jobs or you are not able to perform well in your existing job or you don't feel competent enough then now is the time you should go and learn those skills if it's something to do with you know software then go to udemy.com coursera udacity and learn like python java or whatever it is html css javascript <laughs> if you are into you know uh, machine learning then learn the technologies right or cloud or data engineering these are my technologies the technologies with which i work so i'm just quoting them right or uh, if you are into some communication sector or into management then if you feel that you do not have the skill set then please go and educate yourself now it's a do or die situation if you don't do now it will you will not be able to do later and you will regret okay so therefore 
you got to understand that if you stay where you are then things will not be working in your favor okay so see the thing is if you stay where you are you will be in a difficult situation and even if you try to go up you will still be in difficulty right but which difficulty is worth right which is so as they say it's um, having a job is hard being unemployment is also hard right being un unemployed is also very hard so which choose your hard which which hard would you like to have <laughs> right as they say being sick is hard being healthy is also hard right but which hard would you choose so better to choose that hard which helps you to become a better person because anyways there is something hard which is always going to be there either you want to stay here or go up the ladders right but which will end you uh, which which will give you better returns in the long run so that is something which you should really ask yourself okay so do whatever you can with the resources that you have and have a plan have a goddamn plan till 21st october i can ensure you, if you plan your time properly till 21st october then all the problems that you have will be solved what does it mean it me it doesn't mean that externally they may be solved but internally you will become confident okay so pack your bags do what is required abhi nahi to kabhi nahi if not now then never right do or die situation so therefore you need to understand that sun will also be uh, uh, sun has already entered virgo actually as i am making this video and now he's also conjunct um, mars in the sign of virgo right so therefore now the solar energy has entered so now is the time that you get up and make those necessary changes if you don't it's going to be hard later it's it's still going to be hard even if you do it now but uh, you st you better do it <laughs> i know it's difficult there are things which are sliding down they're gliding down and they're just going down and, and and it seems as if they will never stop but yes they will never stop unless we put them to stop we put a hold on them right so don't let things go down you have already let it go down but uh, don't let it go down further okay so ladies and gentlemen that will be the video for mass transit into virgo and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you like this video please click the thumbs up and share it with your family friends and relatives and colleagues and if you want a personalized consultation from me you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look for him and you will find him